Okay, long story short, we're gonna achieve stylized look in this video. If you don't know what that means, you don't have to. Let's get started. Not using any fancy shaders or codes or anything, we're just gonna be going with the good old fashioned gradient texturing and also with some light, light tweakings and some lighting techniques to achieve this stylized look. Hop into Blender and make some 3D models or like I've already made some, so yep, yeah, here we are. Okay, a real quick rundown. Our brain likes to think things are stylized and good looking if they have vibrant colors to them and gradient colors to them, if those things are minimalistic and follow a simple color palette or color scheme. So to God, please just ignore the background. I've simply textured my models into some simple looking color gradient palette and remember to keep your colors and everything in the scene quite persistent to the original color palette. This will make your brain think it's stylized and minimalistic. After done, you should have something like this, a scene that uses a very simple color palette and does not go far from that. That's the step one. Congratulations. Export the 3D model and the texture and let's import it into Unity. You can do the same thing with Universal Render Pipeline, but just for the consistency, I'm going to be going with the 3D Render Pipeline, which is the built-in version given with Unity. Drag and drop your ugly 3D model and start stylizing it. Just follow my lead. All you have to do is to go into the directional light and set the intensity to something like 0.5. It can change depending on what kind of scene you're working with, but I think 0.5 just looks fine. And if the scene looks too dark, don't worry about it, we'll light things up. So then go to the lighting tab, which you can fi find under the Windows General or the Rendering Lighting tab, I don't know, just find it somehow. Then once that, go into the Environment tab, and then all you have to do is to go into the Environment Lighting and make sure to set it as a solid color instead of getting from the ugly skybox that you're using in your scene. Congratulations, now your game doesn't look as ugly as it did before, but it's still ugly because it's not mine. I'm gonna be using a free skybox asset to just make things look much more simpler. Congratulations, now your brain thinks your game looks minimalistic and stylized. You can go ahead and tweak the ambient color and the uh, post-processing just to make things look a little bit prettier because even still now it looks ugly. Like your mom. I've gone out of my way and set up a simple looking post-processing with some color grading and some vignette effects. And don't use shitty amount of post-processing such as green space reflection or ambient occlusion that would just make your game look uglier than it was before. And tweak and adjust the settings to make it look prettier if you think it looks pretty. I don't think it looks pretty. That's it. Now stop crying like a bitch thinking about what kind of shaders to use in your game to make it look stylized and good looking. 